You've probably seen people online talking about saving 50, 60, even 70% of their income every month. Or people complaining that the new NISA's 3.6 million yen a year contribution limit is too low. But not everyone can afford to save that much. Some people are struggling already. Is it even worth it for them to think about this stuff? Until I lost my job in 2008, I didn't save money every month. I didn't invest. I didn't really think about money at all, to be honest. But being unemployed with a wife, three kids, and two cats was no fun at all. When I started to get serious about money, I didn't have any saving habits at all. I didn't have any investments. So I started small, 1,000 yen a month, 2,000 yen a month, first into savings and then into investments. And over time, I increased those amounts. And now we save hundreds of times that every month. But the habit started with just one of these. Starting small lets us build a habit. As James Clear writes about in Atomic Habits, the key to building a new habit is to make it really easy to do. And most people can afford a thousand yen a month. In the process of starting, we'll open up necessary accounts, read up on how to do things, and learn about how we react to setbacks. Starting small lets us try new things and make mistakes without opening ourselves up to too much risk. If you invest a thousand yen a month, it doesn't really matter if you make a mistake. Over time, you'll learn everything you need to know. You'll have the accounts you need, and you'll be eager to increase the amount you save and invest. Over time, this will transform your life. But it all starts with that first 1,000 yen. So what should you do if you're just starting out? Three things. Open a separate bank account. Start saving money in there for your emergency fund. Save as much as is comfortable, but I recommend saving at least 1,000 yen a month and no more than 10% of your income. Your target for this is 300,000 yen. Why 300,000? Well, it's just a nice round number, but it also should help you deal with most emergencies that you're going to run into. Once you reach 300,000 yen, you then have to make a decision whether to continue saving into that account, how much money do you need to feel comfortable, or maybe, from then on, use that money every month to invest instead. At the same time, open a broker account. I mainly use Rakuten Securities, but any of the big online brokers are fine. When you open the account, tick the box that says, I want a NISA account. Start investing into a cheap mutual fund. 100 yen a month is the minimum investment, and that is fine or invest more if you can comfortably afford it. The key is not to put too much money in at the beginning. You want this to be really low stakes and very easy to keep up. Over time and as you get more comfortable, increase the amount you're saving and investing. If you make this a habit and you do it consistently, it will change your life and you'll end up in a very good place financially. If you can spare another 5,000 yen a month, consider opening an Ideco account. This is also an excellent way to invest for the future. You can learn more about all this stuff by watching other videos on this channel or by going to the Retire Japan website. I'll put links to all of that in the description. I'd like to thank our YouTube members for supporting our work here. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please like, subscribe, and click the join button below to become a member. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.